Look, John here. Today is um, Thursday, 27th of June 2024, and uh, uh, Gary and um, Jack Liam has arrived. The radio announcer called um, Free FM, Adrian Free FM, Hamilton, and uh, they're connected to TikTok, and uh, they're connected to iHeart Radio and uh, a couple of other radio stations that you can turn into. I think, um, um, what was the other one I was thinking? iHeart and um, TikTok and um, what's the other one? another one that I can't think of at the moment. But anyway, it's connected to the other radio. So that's DMA here. It's got his loudspeaker ready to go, and with um, um, Jack at the end there, and the people are here, and I'll be going up the road soon, and we're going to walk with them, I'm going to walk at the back, I'm not a protester, I'm just going as an observer, and have a meeting with their home guard afterwards, on enforcing the documents here. Here against the plan here, and so we are just enforcing them in a nice, pleasant way on a nice, beautiful, sunny day today. And what we are starting to get things cranked up in a minute, and um, um, I'm fearful for the RSA here in Hamilton is it being shut down by the government and no more RSA anymore in the country because they want them to go, the government wants them to buy into the government's crypto system of money, digital money, so they can switch them on and off and have control of a cashless society when what we are doing as a native nature corp is to pick our two bar pound note up and print the pound note into our own cash society and put it in the Bitcoin's ATM machine to come out as cash from being patented, British Crown patented pound note 1694, uh, King William III of Orange, um, Act of Westminster Parliament and his 1694 Bank of England Act, 1694 patented. Um, um, pound note and bank and we are going to enforce those instruments on top of all the debtors of the one bar pound note illegal fraudulent pound note and fake US dollar that's going out now and dissolving their um, money um, fiat system to try and make it to go to crypto and we're going to be using the bitcoins ATM machine to transfer our pound note into crypto or into um, that system of cash to replace the fiat money cash or their digital currency cash because the queen is getting her head Queen Elizabeth II on their one bar pound note and Charles, King Charles head on their pound note, one bar pound note and we're going to use the two bar to liquidate their crown monarch business off the land, the native land, because <coughs> they are gone <coughs> into Frankfurt, Germany and taken our crown there and practicing the crown business there of Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth and King Charles and the future King William um, jurisdiction monarch over there but, but they don't have the original court of record of King William Dutchman King William III founder of New Zealand Dutch country and East Island Dutch founded country with the Maori 
memorial statue that's Queen Victoria's native land title on all 257 countries in the world that we're going into as a blueprint model of our own native court contract lease agreement between Paramount Chief Te Rawaikato for the Hiri Hiri Manuka of Pōra or Punga Punga Marae in Arapuni on Mangatauki Mountain and the Rock Memorial beside the Marae, Punga Punga Marae, which is the memorial to King George IV and Te Rawaikato for the Hiri Hiri Manuka title lease agreement to New Zealand from 1823 right till now, 2024, to settle the Crown of Britain out, and we settled them out as the first party partnership, and Andy Devine, a English-born man, and his other people that have gone there to set up with the native court, and they're the natives of England soil land, as our second partner, and the New Zealand Government Crown is the third partner, party, and the Maori, Maori Government or Whakameninga is the fourth party to our two-party lease agreement contract commercial title to the lease, head lease of New Zealand and the British Crown we are taking over because they abandoned ship. That's Queen Elizabeth II abandoned the ship and gone into the sea, <coughs> as lost at sea, dead at sea, and nowhere to be seen anymore. But her face is still on the British pound note to date, like now, it will be published in two months' time the pound note as legal tender and King Charles' head on the pound note as well, being legal tender to keep their one bar pound note going. And we've got the 970 million trillion trillion pound note with Ernest Augustus the fifth, the reigning monarch of our country, New Zealand, and our pound note with the whole world of 257 countries Crown monarch Dutchman is carrying on King William the Third World Powers Act, War Powers Act, 1689, and directed straight to King William the Fourth and King Ernest Augustus the First brothers and King George the Fourth brothers, and direct to King Ernest Augustus the Fifth the bloodlines to the Dutch title, and that's our contract for continuing a partnership with um, Holland and and uh, to um, keep the British Crown as the Maui Crown, King William for Trust there as creditor in Britain, UK and the worst rest of the world, 257 countries and Na Atua Ewa Aotea Limited here and registered in New Zealand as, as the creditor of the New Zealand and Pacific Islands under the Maui statue, um, memorial title of Queen Victoria Trust, 1844, and that trust takes over the British Crown with the Maui Crown of Queen Victoria title to uh, her claim to the whole world and memorial on her documents of transferal native lands in the world to the British Crown, and that's our title to take off her because of Garnon as the head of our Queen Victoria Trust, 1844, to replace Queen Elizabeth II because no one else can do that job but us, the beneficiaries. Now we're the trustees of the Maui Crown King William IV Trust, and they are the beneficiaries, everybody else. There's second party, third party, fourth party, fifth party, sixth party to our contract. Yep, okay. Yep, okay. Yep. Okay, that's why I'm following behind. Yep. Yep. Yep, I'm filming at the same time. Okay, I'm already rolling anyway.
So we're on the move now. We're going to follow. I'm going to follow behind, and we'll set sail and go. Yeah, back in time. So okay, okay, we're off. <coughs> So Jean, Mummy is going with Jack, then, and we're going to walk around this block there, then come back to the protest outside the council. So I'm just following behind, because we're in this together. That's funny looking boy. It looks like a electric one. It's got a cover on it. My boy is heavy with my books in it. So, buddy, I'm just carrying my books around so I don't want to leave them over there. So we're just going to follow them around. camera's still rolling, Mr. Mike is full up, it's got plenty of battery. We are just here today acknowledging we need to know, you need to know who you are. You're either self-determined as a sovereign or a slave. You're a sovereign corporate crown clown or a real crown judicial counsellor. We want people to work out what's going on. This cat, Liam, talking from the radio station, 89, 3FM, Hamilton. It's good to see you here today. Yep. John? Thanks. Yep. Do you know who you are? Yep. Your identity? Okay. And you're a self-determined individual, aren't you? Yes. Yep. Yes. What about a sovereign, a, a sovereign corporate crown clown? You're not that, are you? No, no, we're not. No. You're more of a real crown judicial counsellor. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Yep, correct. What would you like to see ha happen in Hamilton? I'd like to see some change into something more accountable yep. for what you spend your rates on and for um, a, a better, better... Um, return of partnership. Yeah, and the home guard. And the home guard to chase after anybody mm -hmm. who's breaking their law and our law. Yep. And I'm here for the British law of that big crown on this little crown. Yep. And these fellas are mischievous when they break the rules that mm -hmm. they made for us. And uh, so we're sticking to the original yep. rules. And so that's what happens. And of course, uh, the ratepayers are demanding a public audit because mm -hmm. we need a forensic audit done on the books here. Yeah. In terms of the huge debt and the overspending, and we're really calling on people to boycott the rates. It's a yep. vote, vote of no confidence in the council. Yes. <clears throat> we ask the question: Would Jesus drive out the money changers from the temple? What do you think, John? Yeah, I think it's something of um, of um, um, how we feel on living under a foreign ownership government yeah, yeah, that's ownership. trying to make us comply with a digital currency. You yep. see the RSA being knocked out. Yes. Who's next? Who's next? Right. And that's what they're doing. They are cashing up and changing from the fiat uh, money to the digital. digital currency of crypto. And they're getting us prepared. And, they're, and yep. they're supposed mm. to be working for us as servants, yeah. the politicians. You've got the Prime Minister Luxton, Christopher Luxton, selling as a real, as a, as a, as, as a money, um, yep. um, crypto. crypto salesman. Yep. Yeah. He's yeah. acting as a salesman and he's of interest to us. Right. The public is going to drop another money system on us 
and make us comply so that they have complete control over the money yep. that they are producing from something which is a as a artificial gold money mm -hmm. that's turning into crypto that they can press buttons to turn you on and off. If you don't pay your rates, they will seize your property, yeah. seize your assets because mm. they give them the right, they give themselves a law, which is not a law, yeah. a statute is not law, and yeah. they're making statute as if it is law yeah. to make you give up your ownership of your property, and they say, you'll own nothing and be very happy. That's the narrative of the World Economic Forum, which I'm watching very yeah, closely. Forum, and yeah. they are they're all serving they're Trump all serving that regime of Zionists in Zionists. Germany, yep. in Frankfurt. Your yep. crown in Britain yes. is shifted into Germany and it's our partnership is at risk of being lost and our flag is yep. still in a partnership as a first party now in a yep. two-party contract between us, the natives, and uh, the British, who are a second party now to uh, a two-party commercial contract of admiralty that got them on the land in the first place. Is yeah. admiralty from one so country... they belong to a fake system yep. at a top level, a yep. fake monetary yep. system, it, yep. and it, they're ready to take us all into this digital world. Yeah, they're, they're making building. us, they're making it easy to press the button to say it's free for you to press the button but we need $400. This is the difference between a Maori and a Pākehā. The, the Pākehā is Christopher Luxton selling his wares for 400 bucks to buy a cryptocurrency owned by the government and and Winston Peters is a bit more dearer. He says 450 bucks of government crypto. So that's the difference between their partnership in the government who are going to do this with the councils and pick up the money with the flag that we have, the Confederation flag, is a municipal corporations act of 1835 and they're using that flag to collect your rates on yep. the Municipal Corporations Act of King William IV. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, that's how it works. They're using your hard-earned money to buy those people who got the brains to make those crypto games and crypto money. They'll just buy them out. They've already got XRP, one of the big crypto companies, BlackRock. And Vanguard is the other big one. Corporation. Yep. Yep, that, that's what Jacinda Dern set up. She set up Black Rock, and they wondered where she got the money from. It was from Black Rock. So you've got, according to George Orwell, yep. you've got on the left side of the communism and on the right side of the fascism. Yep. So we're being ruled by fascism. Yep. We're asking the question today. Do you know who you are? You are either self-determined as a sovereign or a slave. You need to ask yourself seriously, are you a self-determined individual? And you, you're a sovereign corporate crown clown, yielded to a false monetary system, total control by far foreign companies, or you're a real crown judicial Councillor, what sort of crown do you possess? Are you surrendered to the false crown or do you wear a true crown based on the rights 
that our Creator has endowed us with. <clears throat> so it's well planned with the with the um, vaccine to make business out of locking people up and putting them in small cities and making them live there while they take all the valuable land and then they mark will mark cities yep mark with, cities yep with uh, surveillance and yep. speed bumps yep, yep. they well, can't move out of it going on and you'll be, everything will be monitoring you can't monitoring move out of it yep. spying on people sure yep yep and we have to wake up the masses yeah yep. So, yeah, so they've got the 6G now yep. to fry you and they're, they're cutting trees down with the, the beams now and that's what they're using to incinerate people or like Hawaii, they incinerated all the houses except the trees and they just killed them all and that's what they're doing with the towers. They're not there for the internet, they're there to monitor you as face recognition so they can pick you up if you jaywalk across the road, they will give you a ticket and find you and take the money straight out of your crypto account. They have access, they are running your crypto account because they say you don't know how to do it, we'll do it for you. And that's what's happening. So it, you're also saying that they got rid of uh, a lot of the trees in Hawaii? Yep. Yeah, Hawaii, yep. So they, what was the purpose of getting rid of the trees? To let the beam of the towers go straight in to the 5G and the 6G. They've got 6G which is dangerous. There's a lot so of the people... The might, might have been stopping it. Yeah, stopping the beam from going straight in. And it's supposed to be for internet, but no, it's to spy on you and to... Everybody's got injected, has got graphene oxide, becomes, yep. makes you a conductor yep. and makes you pick up on the 6G yep. and they know you uh, um, um, from your hospital records of what you're not supposed to eat and they'll stop you from going to the supermarket to buy things. You're only allowed to buy their product with their label on it and yeah, nothing else. That's absolutely <laughs> so that's what they got control. When they got control of the crypto, they'll shut all the cryptos down because they say they're fraud. And they're the ones that are fraud masters making the crypto and Putin is the leader of all the crypto. Mm -hmm. He's the one behind all the real yeah. uh, happenings. The Zarian Jews, the market yep. behind yep. all this yep. behind the scenes. So, so they're, they're playing it both ways at that war. Right? Yeah, they're in a game of crowns. The uh, game of crowns and they are seeing who has the most space. Are you recording your voice? Yeah, I am. Good. Yeah, it's going up. It's going straight up, yeah. So they've got control of the atmosphere where all the frequency is yeah. so they can monitor you and bounce the power yeah. in, into your homes and they can do that through the Tesla model. Mm -hmm. And now Musk is selling a robot to do your work without you having a job for 25000 for a robot. You can buy it now online because Gee. I'm online all the time to see who is selling what. Yeah, that's how it works. It's business, corporate business. <coughs> so what we have is the native title to put over every other inferior title. That's where we have got the home guard to skill them up with the documents that I have, the instruments of the Freemasons. And that's how it works. If you're not in the Freemasons, you don't have that tool. Except now. And that's what Jack was saying yesterday. The Freemasons from Auckland stole the power of the Freemasons in Hamilton. And I said, yep, that's right. Because that's where I'm with Wuhi Manukau, 50 years of Freemasonry. 
in Helensville, Aotearoa Native Magistrate Court Bank, the first bank of Aotearoa that became the Bank of England, uh, became the BNZ, sorry, BNZ Bank, and went into the League of Nations, then into the United Nations, then into the World Bank. That's us. Okay? We're the creditors in that bank and we'll wind them up. We're going to wind up whatever with the um, instruments in my bag here and what Gene has, has been practicing, practicing for a long time with me. Yeah, yeah, Tuesday, what were they doing? All payday. All junk, I would go near them. <laughs> Every other day I'd be near them, give them a car, give them a smoke. Yeah. Tuesday night, no. Junk. Yeah, you know. They need to be instructed of the Lord and need yes. to know. Yes. We've that got they a land, flow, milk, and honey, eh, hey, brother? Eh, <laughs> hey, brother? Eh, hey, yeah. my brother? Yeah. There's no need to go hungry. Yeah. Go and pinch someone's sheep. Just one. You know, Lord, you live the 99 to go and get one. It's only one. Yeah. Not the same. You're going to miss one tree. You ain't going to miss it. And if you go and ask me, I'll probably give it to you. Mm -hmm. the wire <laughs> the free, Jesus, free yeah. meat. Yeah. Not free meat in the wire wrapper. Yeah, I get free meat, but I uh, don't even eat meat that much. Yeah. Thanks See ya. Thank you for that. Uh, have a good day. Uh, you, you too. Mmm. <coughs> Yep. We're just going around the block where I usually used to come and go around to the bank, ANZ Bank, where I used to be. Have you got a real crown? Crown, 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 crown,
Mm. Okay. Thank, thank you. Have a nice day. Yep. Okay. Yeah, no, I was living here. Yeah, right, yeah. yeah, yeah, I was living here. I used to come here and have meetings yeah. in the garden. <coughs> yeah, with the uh, guys from Te Aumudu. Yeah. <coughs> mm. So I know a little bit about the place. Yeah. Yeah. Bags are getting heavy. I rubbed up and put it. It's getting heavy, and my heart is going slow. Not fast, slow. But I'll get there. I just keep walking like that. See, my heart is going to Anakal Medical Centre for a cardiogram next week. And uh, I'll go and have a look to see how well the medication is doing and uh, get the test done. We know where we are with the medication. And then I can see if I'm well enough to survive from then on with or without. Yep. Okay, keep going. Nice Jack was saying, oh, you're getting far behind and they're moving faster than me. My afterburners are not as good as theirs and I'll catch them up. back in the garden again. really on the books. There's too many bureaucrats there. They 
could reduce it by three or four hundred people. We are overspending, the debt has increased, and BlackRock will come in and pay the debt off and own New Zealand. We need to boycott the rates, a vote of no confidence in the council, and we ask Christians the question, would Jesus drive out the money changers from the temple? Thank you very much. Taking it to the people. Yeah, yeah. Because <clears throat> everybody will see that there and it won't have much effect. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, rightfully, this place should be bustling. It's now yeah. Thursday. Yeah. I thought nobody's got any money. <clears throat> I'll have a meeting after which with the um, Home Guard to say what's plan B after today, a chance meeting with them to feel the energy of them while we're there and to tell them what we're about and uh, how we're going to work together. going back to the council building and uh, I'm just waiting to see how they're going to handle this uh, protest. Yeah, we were getting led by a pack of idiots. Yeah, no, you're right. That's right, correct. Mm. And Jack and uh, Jean is saying most of the beneficiaries have been paid today. I've gone to their watering hole to spend their money on what they want to do to try to enjoy their life. And uh, there's our crowd over there, and we're going to see them interested in what happens afterwards before they disperse. And I can catch my bus back to Auckland at 6 o'clock, 6.40 p.m. And Watch out, I'm going to get run over. Right. We just left behind, see? Because my bag is getting heavier and heavier because it's got all my books in it, the titles, so I can be with them, with these people. If they ask what have I got to offer, I say the titles in this country a native title that you belong to and claim it. Yep, and I'll do all the legal work for it and the instruments and you enforce it with your citizen's arrest on whoever is breaking our High Court rules. But 
that one down. I want to introduce you to John. Hi, how are you? I'm from Auckland, well, really from East Coast, East Cape. He's mm. telling us about the false crown. Yeah, the false crown. Yep. We've got three crowns, one here, your one, and the one in Britain. I'm looking after the one in Britain, the crown there, where the source of everything comes from, yeah. and the authority comes from, that we're still partners with, Britain. How many people are wearing their crown today? <laughs> <clears throat> Is there somebody in there that's supposed to come out of it? Or Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Paul of Southgate, you're wanted mm. by the people. Yeah. Okay, all right. Oh, Phil, Paul of Southgate's wanted by the people. Mm. Film some of these. Yep, yeah, I will go and do that now. I'm going to film all the signs here so you've got a better idea of what the protest is about today and I'm in it to experience what is going on and from here. Yeah, this is where they 